Kevin Dessauer here. Today we're talking about shoulder exercises and how to protect the arm um, uh, from injury, overuse injuries. Uh, Haley here is going to help demonstrate the exercises. All we have is a simple band here. Uh, it's a band that can clip on to a fence. Um, we're not using the traditional handles because I feel like you know part of part of uh, these J-band exercises, you don't have to grip so hard on the on the uh, resistance band. So this kind of straps to the wrist, kind of lets the wrist be free, so you're not gripping so hard. So I like these are called J-bands or Jaeger bands. I'm going to go over a couple of them. This is my shoulder prehab program. So this prevents injury, uh, overuse injuries for the arm. So the first exercise we're going to do is called a row. So I'm going to have the um, cord on the and you're just rowing back, squeezing the muscles in the back of the shoulder. This works the rhomboids. It's a nice postural exercise. Try to keep the shoulders from getting elevated, kind of keeping them down. Notice she has a split stance, so she's not arching her back. She's kind of staying solid in her trunk and working on a row. The next exercise is called an eye. So she's going to bring the Core back to the outside. Again, tall posture, and she's going to work it down towards her hip. Again, keeping the shoulder blades down. All these exercises, you can perform two to three sets for 10 or 15 reps. Notice her head is kind of staying back. She's not forward, and her shoulder blades are back. Strengthen that back of the shoulder. Next exercise is called a T. She's going to move the band back to the inside part of her hand. She's going to work her shoulder blades back, and then she's going to extend out. Again, keeping the shoulders down. So this is working the middle trap. It's a muscle between the, the shoulder blades. Good. Next one's an, a Y, so she's going to kind of make a Y shape. Again, kind of pinching the blades down. Notice her hands are kind of relaxed. She's not gripping. Engaging the shoulder blade and then reaching up. All exercises to prepare the muscles for the deceleration phase of the, the swinging motion that you do with a forehand, a backhand, and the serve. A lot of these muscles are neglected with tennis, so it's good for off-court training to, to incorporate some of this two to three days a week. Good. The last one is a W. She's going to put her arms up around shoulder height. Okay. Take a step forward. This is the hardest one, so you don't want too much resistance in the band. And then she's going to make a W kind of coming up here. Notice her shoulders are not dropping below or her elbows are not dropping below her shoulders. And she's working the posterior cuff. This is a rotator cuff exercise. 